Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hey, what's going on, you too? Today, we are finally going to be bringing back our Redemption Jollibee video that everyone's been waiting for. So, really, what this video is about is getting all the food that we missed out on and again, redeeming our Hollow Hollow 2 mixture failures. So, let's dig in. We got some amazing food here that we missed out on, and we're gonna be sharing it with you guys. So, let's go. And so, I'm gonna start off on this nice sunny day in the Pacific Northwest. Everyone was talking about the pineapple juice. Some I'm believe. so excited for this pineapple juice. Everyone, probably a lot of comments on our channel said, you gotta try this pineapple juice. So, here it is. We're gonna be trying it. It's a beautiful day out. So, and I know people said I was picky because I don't like mangoes. Not a big fan of pineapple either. To tell you the <laughs> truth, it's just the it's the two tropical fruits that I'm not a big fan of. Oh my god! So, um, oh my god! But hey, I'm down to dip, try a different drink. So, All right, cheers to that. Well, that is very smooth, though. That is that's very good, good, man. I feel like I need to put like some alcohol in here. Uh, <laughs> I just <laughs> you got that pineapple back. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, that is pretty good juice. That makes me feel like I'm I'm at a tropical place for sure. I feel like you of, put some like rum in I there. Know, some you rum go, in there. Oh, you got a good day. Um, that is pretty bomb. Oh, that's good. Hey, good suggestion on that one. I am excited to drink this throughout my video. Oh, oh I just spilled it. Oh, Un momento. Man. All right. So Will and I. Last time we were here, we missed out on some really good stuff that everyone mentioned about. I really wanted to try the Spam Burger, and so I'm bringing back the Spam Burger here. And for me, the corned beef one looked pretty delicious, and so... So, we're gonna dig into this and give it a try. So we both split it up. Will want to try Spam, I want to try Spam, he want to try corned beef, I want to try corned beef. So, we're gonna get in on this, and um, which one do you want to do first, corned oh, beef? i try this corned beef one time. Yeah, get in on that. Ooh, look at that oh. sun. It is a sunny day in the northwest here, so... Cheers to that, dude. Let's try it. That's a hitter. Oh my gosh. That is good. That's a hitter right there. I'm gonna admit that it looked a little weird when it first got cut up, but dude, that is good. That is bomb. Mm. Just get on that right there. That's good. Wow. I don't even, that is juicy. Oh, that, that is, is juicy. juicy and delicious. And there's like a sauce on there. I don't know if it's mayo or what it is, but perfect mixture. And it's, it is juicy and delicious. Mm. Ooh, that is bomb. Next up. Man, I could have got more of that. Mm. So this is what I've been wanting. This is the Spam Burger. There, see that little piece of spam. Yeah, get it in there. Um, I've been wanting this. I forgot about this last time. So, here we go. Spamming it up. Talk about a mayo on there. Oh, dude, that is good. Still it has a, um, you know, that salty um, has that salty spam taste which is what I like. And again, it's got that mayo on there. You can see like nice little mayo. It's not bad. Honestly though, that corned beef one, I would say takes it out of these two. Yeah, that corned beef is good. That corned I was, beef was not expecting wrong. the corned beef to be that good. That corned beef was lit. <laughs> <laughs> that still doesn't sound smooth. <laughs> even when you bring it out of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, but that spam to me, that spam to me is really good though. That's pretty good. I sort of feel like they have the same taste. <laughs> nah. I don't know. With me, with my spam, I like it. You know, just a little crispy on the outside of it, where you cook it were just right. And this one was a little more. Um, oh, I can say soggy, but it just wasn't as crispy on the outsides of it, which how I like it. But overall, it's a good combination. The bread, the moist bread, I think is what makes it a hitter. Yeah, and that, that that mayo is a good mayo. It's not doesn't have like yeah. an overpower mayo taste to it. It also gives it a really good flavor. But man, this drink is just killer. This is Thanks for all the good. shout outs on this. Um, yeah, pineapple juice. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's warm up here. It's probably like 65 degrees here, which is probably not that hot. <laughs> but um, it feels really good out here. So having this nice cold pineapple, it's, it's good. 
another meal or another food that we missed out on last time we were here and a lot of people commented on it as probably one of their top foods at Jollibee to get is the Palabo. And I hope I pronounced the Palabo right, uh, but if you look at that, I'm actually really excited. This one has some chicken in there and it looks like it has some shrimp and there's the little egg right there. So we're gonna get in on this and give it a try. I've never had Palabo before, so let's dig in. pretty bomb. All right, so here's to trying new things. It smells really good. Uh, look at you, cute. Hey, cute boiled egg. That. Look at that. So I'm gonna get all my Some fixings on. I'm taking a big bite on this one. You ready for this? Yes, look at this. Uh, this looks good, smells good. Oh, cheers to that. Let's go. Let's do it. That egg. Oh man, they wish they'd give me more egg. I don't really taste the seafoody part that people mentioned. Oh, they mentioned seafood on there? Yeah, my friend said it's kind of like seafoody taste. No, I don't taste seafood at all. I taste deliciousness. Oh, that's good. Here, let's get you in on that one. Mm, this is actually I do taste well. a little bit of a shrimp right there. I think I got a shrimp. But the meat sort of grounded up. But it, it gives it like a really good texture with the grounded meat, like the grounded meat in there. Um, man, that is good. And the sauce, the sauce is good. This must be, I don't know what the sauce is made of. You know what the sauce is made of? I do not. Whatever the sauce is made of, let me know, man. That's that's some good sauce. It's very smooth. Oh, that's good. Very good. Um, I would say that uh, this is probably up there. Um, I'll say that kills the spaghetti. I'm throwing that out there. Y'all can y'all can hate me on that one, Ooh. but that palabo to me is a lot better than the spaghetti. We might have to fight over that one. I don't know. I don't know. That was delicious. Spaghetti had me at hello. So <laughs> Time. here we go. Look at that. It's like this juice is converting me to like pineapple now, man. So you try new things, man. No. That's where it's at. This pineapple juice, oh man. Oh yeah. Ooh. All right, so I kind of had to spoil myself with the sugar today. I kind of got a second drink. Um, that pearl cooler, what's it? Coconut with the tapioca on the bottom? Or I believe that's tapioca. And see, for me, I'm, not, coconut. A big, I'm not a big coconut oh. guy. Um, see, that's the one tropical fruit I like the best. Besides kiwis. <laughs> I'm down. I, li I like raw coconut that's like when you cut it from a tree and literally you peel it and you eat it. That's good. But when it's like a, it has like a different, you know, like that candy flavor, like uh, almond joy. I can't, I can't do coconut like that. This is bomb, bro. All right. I'm going to venture out because he's going to spoil himself. I'm going to spoil myself with some mango. <laughs> Again, upside down. What is up with that? <laughs> He spoiled himself, I spoiled myself with the peach mango pie again. I know Will said he hated it, so. Hates a strong he word. He converted to that. I'm still with this. Again, get in on that. Look at that. Oh, it's so warm. Oh. Why are you so sensual? <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm trying to make you jealous. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Do that. Oh my gosh, I can break. So juicy. Oh, it's so good. Mm. They really need the bubble tea straw with these, though. The big ones for this tapioca and coconut oh. pieces. Man down. I just lost half my pie. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Get in on that one. There we go. Thank God I have a plate down here. The plate caught it. So get in on that. This tapioca just. Oh. Mm. Yeah, Man, this drink is bomb though. That pie is so good. It's crazy to think that. So why is why does the Philippines uh, mango pie? Why is it smaller? I, I don't know if I got an answer to why it's smaller. Oh, so just these, like the portion sizes here bigger. That's what I was assuming. Yeah. 
And so with that pie falling, um, I do want to kick it off to say that we do not have the tuna pie that everyone's talked about. I was so disappointed. Uh, so I did a little research after they told me that. It sounds like tuna pie is only in the Philippines. Um, so again, sorry everyone, we didn't get to try the tuna pie. I was almost cried, but hey, I'm gonna get to the Philippines and I'm gonna try some tuna pie there. You with me? Philippine in it? All right. I'm gonna try a mango straight from Cebu because I heard they have the best mangoes. All right, all right. Again, this is all stuff that we didn't get. We're, we still got some stuff that we did get last time, but this is really to make up for all the things we didn't get, which is why we're bringing to you the Aloha Yum. Everyone again said, try the burger. So we're trying the burger. Get in on that. Get in on that. So we cut it in half because we were gonna share this. So there it is. This looks really juicy. Oh, shit. Um, the sauce, the pineapple, there's bacon on there. I'm so excited to try this right now. And they're not stingy with the lettuce on here, I'll tell you. Oh that. man, this is good. The sauce is dripping off. This is what you want in a burger. Just oh, a drippy, shit. good looking sauce. Right. A dri this is what you want in a burger. You want something that's dripping, <laughs> nice and moist, ready right. to eat. Let's Cheers go. to that, let's go. That sauce is good. What is that sauce? I'll be honest, this murders the pineapple burger at Red Robin. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Man, do you, like the, you like the pineapple on there? This murders, yes. Wow. The Jollibee's converted me to pineapple fan. This yeah. is delicious. Look at, look at that pineapple right on there. That pineapple is good on here. I've never had a pineapple burger before, so I can't compare it, but I can tell you this. This is extremely juicy and good, and that pineapple kicks in at the very end to give it like this amazing taste. But it's like a good hint of pineapple. Mm. It's not overpowering the whole burger. It just gives you that hint up there. Man. That yeah. is good. Again. Thanks for all the recommendation on this stuff. Uh, I knew I knew that it was gonna be good, but to actually experience it is even better. So, this. Oh. McDonald's got nothing on Jolly Bee's Aloha Burger. That's good. Oh. I should have asked for a side of pineapple. Put my, put pineapple on everything. I don't know if I'm there yet, but. <laughs> I don't know if I'm there yet, but. I'm gonna work my way up to that. Man, that burger was good. Really good burger. The pineapple, again, never had the pineapple before. Perfect hint of pineapple on there. Not overpowering, I agree with what Will said. Not overpowering at all. Really, really good. Oh. We gotta try this next time. This is very bomb. Well, I'm nervous, dude. I don't know how I'm I not can a get coconut dude, man. Tapioca. I was a pineapple guy, but this is true. It's converted. I, will agree. I am converted. Is it, is it really hard to drink? <laughs> When these tapioca get stuck. You guys really need a bigger straw though. Because as you see, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but like a tapioca just stuck up here. You can't suck it up. Now I know today we were all about trying new things, but, but we had to go back to the basics. The basics. The chicken. The chicken. And again, I had to give this a fair shot. I got sidetracked with the spaghetti last time and I don't feel like I gave it a fair <laughs> shot. Um, so again, a lot of comments were saying get the rice. So we got rice this time. We didn't get the mashed potatoes. And in, all, in all fairness, we usually always eat rice with our chicken, but I just wanted to try uh, the smashed potatoes from Jolly Bee because they did look delicious, but. So I decided to go, everyone said, keep it spicy. So I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real and I'm keeping it spicy. 
I'm keeping an original because I wasn't a big fan of the seasoning on the spicy. Spicy um, tag, spicy flag, boom. So. And I'm really, really excited for this gravy. <laughs> That's the main part. Oh, dude, get in on this gravy. And I really do think the difference is the portions from the Philippines here because someone even mentioned like, why is the gravy here a lot bigger than what you guys received there? So um, it's just American culture, just give a lot, realistically. <laughs> um. Dude, I am really excited for this. So here is my drumstick. And that chicken. It smells really good. Yep. Now I'm gonna right. start at the breast. It's a thigh. Oh. It is not a breast, it is a thigh. You got me, Liz. I'm sorry. <laughs> so like, like, I'm going with a chicken thigh. So I'm dipping this all in my gravy here. Look at that. Cause this is gonna be amazing. So you just get that. Comes right apart. Oh my gosh. Look how juicy that is. So we had to wait like 15 minutes for our chicken this time. Uh, they ran out of chicken, so we were the first in line to get brand new chicken. So I think we might be spoiled on this one, but like, look at that. Oh, you already have your tongue. Mm -hmm. That is juicy. <clears throat> and again, it is pretty spicy, it has a little kick to it, but it's not overwhelming. Some more gravy. Mmm. That meat is just falling off. Look at that. Oh, dude. I will say that this this Jolly Bee chicken right now is is killer. There's the nice crunchy skin, and it's probably the juiciest chicken I've had in a long time. Merly, I've always liked it, so you know, Whoa. I'm a big fan of Popeyes. But I agree, you cannot come to Jolly Bee and not get the spicy. I think the spicy chicken's where it's at, man. I know you got the crispy this time, but I think- See, I really don't know if it was because- The spicy is where it's at. When I got the thigh the last time, when I took the first bite, it felt like they just took all the seasoning and powder and just went on that one spot. So it was just kind of too much for that bite. Look at this crispy skin. Oh, I'm so excited. Mixed with some gravy. Get that in there. Mmm. Oh, that's good. See, and a great, I, I think it, you have to get the spicy one, dude. Like, it just has a, let's see, you guys get in on that juicy right there. Get in on that juicy. To be honest, if I just had a, I don't know if this is disrespectful of Jolly Bee, but I like Tabasco oh. sauce on all my chicken. So, like, if I just had some chicken with this original on the grape, just came over. Man, this is so good. All right, so I take back my statements just based off of this. Like, this chicken is really, really good. I was so biased because of that spaghetti. So, me personally, I couldn't come back to Jolly Bee and not get my love. My love for the spaghetti. Look at that. Oh man, I'm so excited to get in on this. Get close up with that again. I knew I'd see her again. And for viewer discretion, I'm not eating it. <laughs> <laughs> so again, I said mix up the spaghetti really good. So I'm mixing it up really good this time. So again, all of it gets mixed up. No noodle uncovered all right I see that that looks good the moment I've been waiting for well, cheers to you on that
Heaven in my mouth. Heaven in my mouth. <laughs> oh, it's just so good. Like, I can't even describe it, man. You have to try Jolly Bee spaghetti. It's just, it's just good, man. So they said, oh, it's Gosh. like a banana ketchup that they use. Is that something you can buy in the Philippines or do they just concoct it on their own to make it, um, give mm. it that sweetened flavor? See, it's just so good. And I'm so full right now from all the stuff we just ate that I can still kill this whole plate, I think. Guaranteed. Did it work? Gosh. So good. Best spaghetti ever. Olive Garden has nothing on this spaghetti. Oh, so good. I don't know where this has been my whole life. Man. So the moment you've all been waiting for, and again, all the comments were back on this, and so we're here for the redemption of our hollow hollow. Dun, dun, dun. So again, I read a ton of the reviews you all left me and we are gonna do this the right way this time. And so they say mix it from the bottom up and you wanna make sure that it's almost like a yellow or a purple, a purple color of your ice. And so here I go, we're gonna mix it up from the bottom up, get it all stirred in. So I think I'm doing this right based off of what everyone said. Bottom up, bottom up, drop it, stir it around. I mean, I don't know if you can tell by the sun. Ooh. But yeah, that's mixed up pretty good, that's I think. Pretty... All the stuff is floating around, bottom up. It does have a little bit of a, a purple tint to it. Does yours too? Yep. Yep. So I think we did this right this time. So here's the try. Can, can someone explain why they give you this little spoon <laughs> to eat this? Um, I mean like a bubble tea shot or something. Like, but this little spoon gives you like the smallest bites at a time. All right, dude, I'm gonna Hey, try I'm sorry, but I'm gonna slurp it cause I'm not, I don't really get this spoon deal. All right, dude, here we go. Ready in? All right. Mm. Oh yeah. I can't lie, that That's is cool. more flavorful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you get way more, yeah. way more on your spoon. And then just the juice itself, or like the ice, the melted ice and stuff like that, does have a little bit of a different, like, almost more of a, a sugary taste to it. Trying to get my little jellies, my beans. Mm. I will agree, we did it wrong the first time. But it looks good now. Mm. What's up, dude? <laughs> People are just staring at us. <laughs> How's it going? Just eating some Jolly. <laughs> eating some Jolly Bee, man. Jolly eating some Jolly Bee. There it is again. Got a little mung bean. It's really like the first time I've eaten this. It's just delicious. Get it on that right there. We had the AC going there because it actually is really warm here. It's 70 degrees right now. Oh, look at that bite. Oh, I'm excited for that one. Oh man. Where's this thing been at my whole life? Those little like stringy things in here. This is, I think it's the man. Look at that. That bite. I see Will's complaining about the spoon, but I think I found the technique of just getting stuff on your spoon. I like to sip more. I rather think I'd rather just sip it since the ice is so thinly mm. crushed. Oh, that was such a good bite. I think for some reason, my hollow hollow this time is like really packed with stuff in there. Yeah, mine Way was more too. than last mine time. Too. Mm. 
I can't right. lie though, this is my favorite thing so far. <laughs> this pearl cooler. I agree. I disagree. From the dessert standpoint, it's the peach mango pie and the hollow hollow too. Is it hollow too or is it hollow hollow which makes it hollow too? That sounds like a crazy question, but I just want to know. Hmm? What do you think? I think it's hollow hollow. So everyone was saying it's mixed mix. No, but everyone's saying there, there's a hollow two. I think like that's just like hollow two, and so it's just a short term for hollow hollow. Yeah, like hollow squared, and I think it's just <laughs> so they don't gotta type as <laughs> hollow much. Hollow square. I really think so they don't gotta type as much. All right, I'm down with that. It's all about simplicity. Man, this one. Ooh, this level. one's so much better than the last one. It has way more stuff in there than the other one did. You can just feel your sugar levels rising with all these drinks and. <laughs> All right, everyone, we hope you enjoyed this Jolly Bee redemption video. We tried to get everything we possibly could uh, that we didn't get the first time. Um, everything was really, really good, really amazing. So glad to get my spaghetti again, get in on this chicken. And I will say that this was the juiciest, crispy chicken that I've been longing for for some time. Um, I love it, it's good. Um, the, the rice was amazing with it. Get the rice over the mashed potatoes every time. Again, I think we redeemed ourselves with mixing up our hollow hollow. Um, so I feel positive about that. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Um, we got Will in on this pineapple drink. He's loving the pineapple. This pineapple is pretty amazing. The pineapple drink, the Aloha Yum Burger. Um, mm. The burger to me was the, hands down the best thing. Spaghetti for me thing. was still number one, man. Um, the chicken honest, is close there with some yeah. gravy. But anyway, uh, let us know below your thoughts. Um, and stay tuned. We got some more videos coming up. Uh, some really fun ones and some good food. So we'll see you all later. Thanks for joining us. Yeah.